So today I've got these side parts for the head. So I've got this piece here. This goes in just behind the face. There, looks like it's gonna take quite a bit of work to file that to shape and blend it in with the face part. That then finally gives us the complete circle in the side of the head which then we fit the the earpiece will go on the side and make the the head complete once we've done both sides. So what I've done here is I've sanded these parts down, um, put a little bit of filler in them and then given them a coat of filler primer. So I've just run the um, drill through these pieces, um, again 3 millimeters. drilled through both of these hole there and another one the camera's not going to pick up on just there uh, they, these pieces attach to the side of the head uh, but they need to be nut and bolted through so I think I'm going to dismantle the head and attach these pieces to the face and then rebuild it So there's the, there's the screw in the face. That was a pretty awkward to get in there and that's done a little, just a little bit of damage to the face there. It's probably a good reason not to paint these until you've actually assembled them. I've only put the primer on so I can touch that up and put the top coat on later. So there's the screw. and the nut sits just inside the side piece. I have to say I'm finding this very fiddly to get this together. So I'm just trying this to make sure everything's going to fit together right. I've, there's a nut and bolt running through here and then there's another one running through here. I've done them up tight. I just wanted to check that this this is lining up here at the back and this hole is lining up okay here on the front of the face. There's quite a gap as you can see here but I guess I can fill that with some filler and then repaint repaint those two pieces. Yeah, it looks okay. This is the other side. It seemed to fit a lot better this side for some reason. There's still a small gap but it seems a lot cleaner this side. Um, so I think I will fill these. So I'll put a little bit of filler in those now. I think I'll just leave it like this for the moment. At some point in the future I'll probably fill it a bit better and paint over it. But this will do for now. This side, this side seems a little bit of a smaller gap. Probably a bit hard to tell from the camera. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, how that's gone together. The, f the face and the sides of the head joined. So I'll just show you what I'm trying to do here which is not working and maybe you can learn from my mistakes. So I've wrangled the face, the, the pieces I just put together of the face back on, the sides of the head. I've wrangled them into, into place so they're a bit pretty awkward to get on. I'm obviously putting this together in the wrong order. Um, and I'm coming to put the face on and there is absolutely no way that is going to go in there with the eye mechanism in place and the servos attached. So I think we're going to have to take the top of the head off. Yep. So with the top of the head removed that is now simple to just drop the face and eye mechanism in place, much easier. I've got the bottom two screws in the face, 
this one here and this one here um, there's a bit of a gap between the top of the face and the bottom of the face but that does that does push down so I think when the head goes on those gaps will close up um, this was very awkward in here to get these screws to line up line up with those and it feels like it's just pulling everything out of out of alignment this is the, the piece I was talking about in the previous video that just keeps keeps popping out um, I think it really needs a screw through here to hold that hold that in so I've popped the eyes back in he looks better now he's got his eyes back I haven't glued them in at the moment they don't screw in so I think to hold them in position they will need to be they need to be glued to the front of the face I don't want to glue them in yet because that means I won't be able to remove them again so I'll only glue them in once I'm happy with everything I might I might be painting these parts so and I may have to disassemble them again so hopefully that will hold in at the moment without glue the next stage is to try and get this, this side of the head top of the head back in in place just awkward lining all the screws up, but I'll get there. Okay, that side's side of the head's back on. This is screw here that's a bit awkward, but I got there in the end. So I just need to figure out how to how to route these cables. I want them to go down inside the neck, um, but they're not going to reach through to the bottom of the neck, so. I'll probably look online to see if I can find some servo extension cables. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the top of the head back in place. Earpieces are on. It's looking quite good. Not sure if I've got these uh, back to front or whether I've got the wrong ear on the on the right side. Maybe somebody will point that out to me if they're correct or if they're back to front. So that's the head basically complete now. Um, I guess the next step is to connect it up to an Arduino and see if I can get all the servos working. Um, the main concern I've got is with the jaw, whether the jaw's going to move properly. I haven't put any grease in yet. Um, I'll probably be disassembling this, so I didn't want to put the grease in just yet. But I will put the grease in when I'm finally finished with it. This all needs painting, but again, I could do that later. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and leave some comments below. I always appreciate feedback. Okay, thanks for watching.